Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2017 video. It feels good to be back after a couple of days break due to uh, a major Train Sim crash and a full reinstall. Um, I say full, I haven't got all my reskins back in, I've got as much as I can get back in there at the moment though. I thought I'd kick things off a bit Suburban Glasgow with uh, BH reskins Carmine and Cream class 313 repaint to make it look like a 314. I know we are due the 314 by Wagons imminently I think is uh, what I'm sort of reading about um, also 313 uh, not 313, 315 so let's get started with this and we can do some more waffling on while we're there I'll also explain why I had to reinstall and why it's good that you should do a reinstall every now and again as well so good morning driver you're in charge of this 1049 service between Newton and Glasgow Central you're due to arrive in Glasgow Central around 11:15 open your doors set your destination board and get prepared to move okay let's get those doors open that's them open uh, lighting set auxiliary set Got a line light and everything perfect. We have a green to turn DRA off. I haven't driven this for a while, you know. Right, we want our headlights on. Mark lights off. Mark lights on. Route destination light on. Uh What's the weather like out there? Mm, it is winter, I suppose, and this is Scotland. Um, we all have our foot warmer on. A bit of demister. That should be us about set. Right, destination blinds. I can't remember how to do it in this. Uh, it's going to be F7 or F8, and I can't press them because it's got, I've got... Uh, my hotkey set up, so I won't be setting any destinations, I'm afraid. Okay, let me just check. Yeah, we've got lights. Alright then, we're about ready to go. So this is Suburban Glasgow. I think I have already said that. I'm not going to press a sound or anything just yet. My Spirex ticking. And away we go. Right, so reinstalls the trains in. What happened? I had uh, some driver, compatibility, driver compatibility issues with my graphics card and train sim did not like it. It, uh, it was quite weird. I'm not sure how much of this was a train sim error and how much of this was a, a slight hardware error on my behalf. Um, I was running routes and things started just being missing. Uh, assets seemed to be missing. Stock wasn't showing up. It was just showing floating couplings until you went outside the cab. Um, routes were taking forever to load. Anybody who has watched the stream over the last couple of weeks will notice the deterioration in my loading times. Uh, performance wasn't massively affected. It, it has been. Um, it seems to have sorted itself out now a bit. Uh, the latest NVIDIA drivers don't seem to be brilliant for train sim. I've noticed a slight... Hmm... It's not so much a loss of frame rate, it's a stutter. Um, now, I thought originally it was to do with tile loading, but it doesn't just seem to be tile loading, it seems to be, oh god, I'm speaking, it does seem to be asset loading as well. So, um, like viewing assets, not necessarily loading them, but being able to see them. So that's been part of the issue. So yeah, in the middle of the stream I got a blue screen of death, I just tried to do one of uh, Lewis Clow's scenarios with a 319 on the linked the Thames link route and it just was, was not showing anything even though I'd installed the pack and done everything else so 
the blue screen of death came and I thought it's a perfect time to delete my train sim install. Now guys, a verifying of files. Let's talk about verifying integrity through Steam. If you click that button, you are going to be reinstalling all your Armstrong Powerhouse packs. Uh, all your reskins, everything like that. What I suggest you do, and yes it is more long-winded, but it is a lot more thorough. If you're getting major errors and you're going to have to reinstall the packs anyway, you might as well just delete the folder. Sounds daft, but it makes a big, big difference. Delete the folder, start afresh. Actually go into your Steam directory, delete the Railworks folder. Ask, ask Steam to, de to delete it first. Then go into your Railworks directory and delete it. And then start completely afresh. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, backups are fine, but I find if you don't keep up to date with your backup, um, or it is something that ends up that's been corrupted, this corruption stuff ends up in your backup, you could have buggered. So starting from afresh is is my advice. It's long winded. It takes me. I mean, I've an install of about three hundred and twenty gigs all in all. It'll be less than that after a reinstall. I expect to get that down about twenty gig, at least twenty gig. Uh, from just some duplicated files when I've been copying stuff over quickly, that sort of thing. So it is worth a clear out. The Trainsim folder does not like being too big. I didn't get my ding ding there. So yeah, fresh install. Thoroughly recommend it. You'll be surprised how much of a difference it makes to your game. And I recommend doing this probably a minimum of once a year. Uh, at the rate I'm installing and deleting stuff at the minute. And flipping about in the folders and changing things here and there. It's only been about four months since my last reinstall. See, I'm still getting these big spikes, these big lags. I'm not sure what they are. They've only started happening recently, but this is a fresh install. So I'm not sure if this has been a train sim update, because I'm not the only one that's been getting them. What I won't moan about, though, is they are not a dump. Now, just because you're getting temporary dump errors does not mean a full reinstall just yet. If you just start getting, so say you just got a new reskin or you installed a new route or something like that and you start getting temp dumps, delete that. Delete what you just installed. Try reinstalling it, see if it happens again. If it doesn't, just keep it out of your folder. Um, it could be corrupted assets, it could be a bad download. I recommend you re-download things. Don't just reinstall the thing again, re-download it and do it. And then you should be alright. If you start getting temp dumps when you haven't changed anything or they just start happening frequently in lots of routes uh, when you're not using just a certain type of asset. So say you, you drive the West Coast Mainline predominantly and you've been getting dumps on the West Coast Mainline. Well, you, you're going to be using the same similar stock, aren't you? So hop on over to the East Coast Mainline or Edinburgh to Glasgow, somewhere like that that's not going to use the same stock try it. Oh, I'm missing a bit of pack here. Um, and see how it goes. If you're not getting the temp dump, then it's an asset that's that's an issue there, isn't it? Oh, I've come in too fast because I'm yakking. Oh. Too much talking. Um, so yeah, I see far too many people on train sim groups, as soon as a temporary dump starts happening, they go, oh, validate your files. No, don't validate your files straight away. And to be honest, if you're validating files, you might as well just reinstall everything. There's no point in, in uh, just validating files. I know there'll be people out there that do it regularly and it works for, that's fine. This is just for me and my advice to you would be this, to, to do a full clean install. 
And I will be honest with you, nine times out of ten, it is a... Uh, <laughs> tends to be a user error, shall we say. Tends to be a badly installed reskin or a scenario that's pushing the limits too much. There's different types of dumpers where you get a vertex error and you get a out of memory error and you just get the 59A dump as well. They're very different things, but they both kind of mean the same thing, apart from the out of memory one. The out of memory one is the big key to, to the whole understanding of the dumps. Train sim, being a 32-bit system, can use 4 gig. There used to be this 4 gig patch thing that everybody bleated on about. Um, as I said in a previous video, I used to install it just just in case, but I really don't. You really don't need it. Uh, Train sim from 2015, I think, had that patch built into the software. So, 32-bit system, 32-bit programs can only use four gigs of RAM. Now that's totality. Okay, so you're you got to think. It's got four gigs to use. It's not like you're just using four gig of RAM and you've got um, Windows to run on top of that and everything else. So it works out less than that, sometimes drastically less than that. So if you've got a scenario with a billion and one trains in it, you're going to get an out of memory error. If you don't reset train simulator before you change routes, you're going to get an out of memory error. Uh, lots of you will watch Matt Peddleston. Now, he has doesn't use any third-party add-on at all. And you see, every time he changes routes, he's resetting the sim. And that's to clear the RAM. It, just coming out of the route doesn't give you doesn't clear the RAM properly. So it's still using loads of RAM. So if you ride in two routes simultaneously, two routes after one after the other, you're going to get an out-memory error. Unless it's like the Isle of Wight, which you could probably run about ten scenarios in a row and not get an issue with it. It takes 10 seconds, it's worth doing, it's good housekeeping for running train sim, really. So yes, reinstall for slightly improved frame rates at times, uh, better stability in game. It's just one of those things that needs to happen. Now I know you, there's be people out there going, no you don't, you don't need to do that, I've been running my train sim install for uh, 5 years and all it's done is update, I've never had to reinstall. Good for you. Good for you. That's fantastic. Leave it in the comment if you'd like to. It won't really change my view, but it might change some other people's view. And it's what you're used to. It's what you're used to playing with. I mean, there was a guy that uploaded a video to... <laughs> a guy that uploaded a video to... Uh, YouTube. I, I'm not even going to link it in the description because I feel kind of sorry for the bloke. He, he's quite well known on a, on a lot of the, the... He started off on the Model Railway forums, uh, Facebook pages, and now he's just starting appearing on the train sim ones. Um, he, he, I mean, he's never done anything to me, but he's irritated a lot of people. But he uploaded this video anyway. It was less than one frame per second. I actually kid you not, it was less than one frame per second. I'm sure somebody will link it. I'm not going to put it in the description, but I'm sure somebody will stick it in the comments. Um, it was truly awful to watch. Like, you, I, I couldn't even work out how you could drive at, at this. I mean, like, you'd have to be preempted every input into the game. It was unreal. And I said to the bloke, I said, mate, like, did you watch that before you uploaded it? I genuinely can genuinely can oh bloody Ned's throwing things on the track. Um, I was genuinely concerned for the bloke, like kind of like, well, have you realised this has happened, mate? You, have you uploaded this and not watched it? And he said, no, it looks fine to me. I said, yeah, I watched it. it looks fine. I said, okay. And I showed Chris it, and Chris said, no, 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 I can't leave this, it's ridiculous, I've got to say something. So Chris also said to the bloke, are you sure you've watched that, mate? I mean, it's it's less than one frame per second. And he went, no, 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 it looks fine to me. So this bloke is playing train simulator at one frame per second, and thinks it's all right. 
And there's a lot of us out there that moan if there's people moan if they get under 40. There's people I, I moan if I get mm, under 18. One frame per second. So yes, people's opinions are fine. <clears throat> my opinion you can see. And that's why I feel all right to give you mine. It's because you see what I'm driving. You see what my opinion of train system is. You can see how mine runs. You're watching the videos. So I can kind of deal with the the stutters at the minute. I can deal with the slightly laggy bits here and there. Some people wouldn't. I could even play Trains in World with it being quite laggy. I mean, all you've got to do is go and have a look at Dragline, my Dragline video, um, and see some of the comments on there. I think at one point somebody put, my, your frame rate is killing me. I put, yeah, it killed me too. Um, but it's playable for me because it's only a couple of seconds and then I'm back up to 30, 20, 28, 15 sometimes, then back up to 26. It's personal preference. And my personal preference is to have my simulator running like this and that does require me to reinstall <coughs> four months this time but usually every six six or twelve um so yeah that's that rubbish out of the way uh, oh no there's not one more bit slightly housekeeping -y. um <coughs> i don't know if it's just because i've slightly started getting more subscribers or whatnot but after my um deletion of my train, train sim video I posted on my own Facebook group people didn't seem to comment this on my Facebook group but people were going around telling people that I had quit YouTube and I had deleted train sim and I was never playing it again it, it was just people causing trouble for trouble's sake that was never the intention it was never, it never even insinuated that that's what I was doing So yeah, uh, drawback for having a YouTube channel and being and people knowing who you are is that there becomes rumours. If you want to keep up to date and you want to get the real information and you want to even challenge me on some of the things I say, leave a comment in this video or head on over to Facebook, get on my Facebook group. It's linked in the description below. Feel free to ask me anything. I don't mind. I'll get back to you. I'm not one of these YouTubers that try, I try and reply to every comment that I can. Um, it doesn't necessarily happen straight away. It might be once or twice a week I can sit down and actually bang through and, and respond. Sometimes depending on how busy I am, it's every two weeks. But I will respond to your, your comments. Um, I might not always be able to help you. But I will do my best to point you in the direction where somebody else might be able to help you. And not boasting, but my group has some really, really decent people on it. Um, from developers down to... From from payware developers down to third-party developers to, to freeware developers. There's a lot of people out there. A lot of people on there. I think we're up to about near, near enough 1,200 at the minute. I think the biggest trade sim group on Facebook has about 4,000. And that's been going years. So it's, it's pretty big. And it's not just about me at all. There are lots of other people on there showing off their products, showing off things that they're designing. It's well worth hopping over. And yeah, of course you can. You can come and talk to me about my videos or what I think of train sim or my views or my opinions on it. Even on the real railways, you can berate me if you think privatisation's a good thing, you can do all that sort of stuff. So yeah, this video was basically about clearing that stuff up. And to say that this is a test and it's all going well and I'm very, very pleased. My aim was to be streaming by Wednesday. This video will go up Tuesday, I'm pretty sure of it.
And even though this is a bit stuttery today, what I'm really pleased about is it hasn't dumped. Suburban Glasgow for me was dumping ridiculously uh, last week. It's a nice reskin. I'm really looking forward to the actual 314 coming out. And uh, Saltire livery. It's going to make things very interesting. They've also done a Strathclyde passenger transport orange and black, which I'm slightly wetting myself about. I couldn't even contain myself on their uh, Facebook page. Wagon's Facebook page that was, I had to sort of say, oh dear. Now my auntie actually lives up here and along a bit. Close, very, very close to Queen's Park Station. So in other train sim related news, uh, train sim 2018 uh, looks like to have a release date. I've, I've read two two dates. Um, one site, as far as I was aware, was reading the 16th of November, and the other site was reading the 18th. Either way, not long. It's Halloween today, so it's the 31st. Thirty first, not thirty first, is it Halloween? I'm getting all confused. I've confused myself now. It is the thirty first. Well, so they got Halloween. I'm sure is, but it doesn't seem like I've, I haven't been at work for a week. Oh well, I went back yesterday, but when I'm not at work. I don't keep an eye on what date it is. <laughs> it's just weird. I have to write it on notes like a billion times at work, but when I'm not at work, I just don't write the date. Reminds me, it's like when I was at school, when it was the summer holidays, I couldn't tell you what the date was, could you? I know there are those people out there that can, that just need to know those sorts of things, and uh, me, I couldn't really give a monkeys, as long as I know when the 25th is every month, because that's payday. Twenty sitting over there. Oh, I came in way too fast again. So, what the, the graphical settings that have actually changed? <laughs> to be fair, that's what caused all of this. Um, Somebody asked to see my graphics settings on the stream, and I clicked the default button by accident, and then clicked cancel. And then what happened was my screen, it, every time I went to train sim, it just looked massively overexposed. Like, I can, I have the brightness near enough full anyway for recording purposes, 
um, and I'm quite used to that. So what you see is actually a darker image than I see. I see a much lighter image. But my screen was basically white. I posted a page on the a picture of it on the Facebook group, so you can have a look there. And that's where all the errors started, and I had to do the full reinstall. So yeah, what I've done uh, differently is I have Adaptive Bloom back on. And I can see the difference it's making. It sort of adds a slight amount of... A little bit more realism, I suppose. It doesn't make it look as toy. Especially the vegetation and stuff. But it is causing me some frame rate issues, so it might be gone by the next video. <clears throat> and this is us coming into central. Oh. What have I not installed properly? Ah, that is a 390 if you ask me. Okay. It was a bit short to be a 390, wasn't it? Let's go and have a look. This is the problem with doing a full reinstall. You have to go back and do all these sorts of things. No, maybe that is the 390. No. What is that? Three eighty, but that's default. Oh, it's a Voyager! Plus Just Trains, and I have just installed that. Maybe it uses a weird repaint of the Voyager that I haven't got. I thought I had everything, I didn't check. I was hoping this video would be like, you know, pretty good. But it's not, it's basically been me waffling on. <laughs> the usual Thompson missing stock. Just throw a spad into this. We've had one station over on. We just need to throw a spad in, don't we? And we're doing well. Yeah, I think Adaptive Bloom's coming off. Why did I not get any AWS alert for that? Didn't even get one for the single yellow behind me. I'm green now. Yeah, no, 390's in. Must have been the Voyager. 
There is a different Virgin repaint for the Just Trains Voyager, isn't there? It must have been that one that they've used in this. Really looking forward to Super Alps repaint of the 390 as well. The Horgy one's done as well, don't get me wrong. It's done us very, very well. Go. All right then guys, so that was just a little quick update. This is more of a test run than anything else, but I hope you have enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, yeah. Let me know what your thoughts on what I was saying about reinstalling stuff in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Head on over to Facebook and head on over to Twitch. Once again guys, thanks ever so much. And I will catch you next time.